What's inside of this box? Mm -hmm. Well, let me show you and all of you. Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. What we have in this little box, it is a solar angle guide, is what it is. A company, uh, I believe the name was Brave Harder, they sent me this and asked me if I would be willing to see what I thought of it. And what it is, it's a clear little box that it has a little black dot on this little cube. You can see this cube is completely square, or it's completely clear. And it has a little black dot right here. And the angle of the sun is going to shine down and it's going to make a reflection on this target underneath it. So you can adjust your solar panel for the optimum angle. Uh, on the back it has a it has a clip. We're gonna go ahead and try this out first uh, on a little portable solar panel. Uh, the little portable solar panel that came with my flash fish. And then we'll see if there's any way we can attach it to a full-size solar panel to figure out the optimum angle. So let's go outside. All right, we got our little 50, uh, 50 watt solar panel here. And um, first, most of the time, I think when I ever use this, I'm just gonna be laying it flat on the ground. Let's go ahead and measure what kind of volts and amps we're getting to figure out how many watts we're getting just from this thing laying on the ground. All right, just laying on the ground, we're getting 1.42 amps. And volts is right at 13. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, set it back to amps. I am just going to set the solar generator underneath the panels. That's the way I would. That's the way I would set it if uh, I didn't want the generator to be sitting out in the sun. Uh, I wouldn't be bringing anything specific to set it on to get a perfect angle. I would be using this. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now we're gonna measure again. Uh, we are at 1.8 amps. And the voltage is 13.06. All right, now we're gonna clip this on and see if it shows us what our angle is right now. All right, I don't know if anyone can actually see the dot, but it's right around there. So let's go ahead and angle the solar panel so we can try to get it as close as possible to the, to the bullseye. Now, if you look at it, you can see that the dot is pretty much as close to the bullseye as I can get. So let's go ahead and measure our voltage now. All right, the amps are at 2.09. And voltage is at 13.08. All right, well, there you have it. There was three tests that we did. Uh, one with the panel laying flat on the ground, one with me just putting it up nonchalantly, not really even thinking about the angle or the way it's pointing. I just wanted to get that solar generator underneath it. Uh, and then there was one uh, using this little solar angle guider. I rolled out the numbers and if you just lay it flat, uh, I got about 18.46 watts. And that's about a 37% efficiency from that 50 watt panel. Um, but with me angling it up and just putting the solar generator underneath it and not really 
paying much attention. Like it was pointing towards the sun, but it wasn't like I, I wasn't uh, being very specific with the uh, with the who cares kind of angle. Um, I got 23 and a half watts, so that was about 47 percent efficiency. Um, but then when I attached this to it and actually looked at the angle I needed and tried to center it, I got 27.33 watts out of the panel. And that is a 55% efficiency. Um, granted, it's uh, you know 10.30 in the morning right now. But still, um, that's, a, that's a significant increase, I guess you could say, from just eyeballing it to having something that's a little bit more precise. I guess some of the things I like about this is, uh, you know, it is pretty small. It's not very heavy at all. You could actually throw it in your backpack. This is made for flexible panels. I mean, it's made for solar generators. Uh, you know, the little 100 watt, 50 watt little fold up panels. Uh, this clip, this clip is not, it's, it's not going to go on a full size panel. There's no way. It, I mean, it was very snug putting it on my little flexible panel. Uh, so this this is made for for people that are hiking uh, and backpacking, uh, you know, camping overnight, stuff like that, and they are just wanting to throw their solar panel out. Uh, this would be the tool for them. I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but it actually made a difference. It, what it actually made me do is think more about where I'm pointing my solar panel. So I think this might be something that you would use. You know, you would use it your first maybe once or twice, a couple times, but I don't think you would religiously use this because I think you would start to realize where you need to point your solar panel to be the most efficient. You would just, you would just have that mindset. You wouldn't just throw it out. You wouldn't just lay it on the ground. Uh, you would actually have the mindset of, okay, before here's how uh, this, you know, this little tool kind of made me point it in this direction, I guess. Um, I mean, you can always eyeball it too, and that's what I'll probably do all the time. The negatives about this little device is uh, this clamp. Uh, it's you, you, you have to take you have to take this little cover off first to really get that clamp on because this clamp is super sturdy. I mean, it it is really sturdy. The possibility of using this on a a full size aluminum panel, uh, no way. There's no way you could do it. Also, uh, this little cover, I'm sure you're supposed to take this cover off, uh, maybe to wash it out, but it, it pops off real easy. So, I mean, and it is made out of plastic. So if you were backpacking with this, I could see this thing popping off and maybe getting lost uh, or, or just breaking because, you know, it's, it's just made out of plastic. So once it breaks, you know, that, that's the end of it. Also, this little dot right here, I, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's not like, it's not embedded or ingrained into the plastic. So I think over time it would wear out, uh, especially if it's getting jumbled around in with, uh, in with the backpack or something like that. I could see this dot getting, uh, getting wiped away. I think... I think if they put the dot on the inside, it would probably last a lot longer. If you have any questions about this little device or how I used it, uh, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.